106 trillion Shiba Inu is blocking Shiba Inu from breaking out. <laughs> that was a real tongue twister. <laughs> Plus, is Bitcoin and the crypto market giving us 2017 vibes and why that could be very, very good? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I hope you had a nice Friday and Saturday. We're here on Sunday, which is a tricky day in the crypto market. Sometimes it starts out, you know, up and then flips down. And sometimes it flips down. It starts down and flips up. Sunday is very, very tricky. There's not a lot of volume. Moreover, this whole kind of weekend has been very, very flat outside of some outliers which we'll talk about which is also kind of weird uh we'll talk about that all i ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile send out the good good vibes smishity smash that like button because on sunday likes are for free <laughs> and now let's do the shiba shake <laughs> Remember, if you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. <laughs> so currently the price of Bitcoin is at 67,146. We'll start out with Bitcoin. We'll get to Shiba Inu in just a second. It did break because, you know, it broke out of the formation. So I want to start out with that. We saw that it was... Some people might see this as one way. Some people might see it as another way. Uh, you know, upside down pregnant lady. I don't know. What I'm seeing here is the double pennant, right? Um, it broke out of that uh, double pennant, uh, which is historically a bullish movement. The problem is that there's not a lot of volume, right? You can see when well, we're looking at the four hour charts, but you can see there's and this is a Binance graph. So it, it depends on what exchange you're looking at. Right. Uh, but there's very low volume here. Right. Very low volume, very low interest. And it's funny, right, because we're very, very close to the previous all old all time high. So if we would have been at this price three months ago, everybody would be like, oh, my God. Right. We're at that price. Like if we would have been at this price here. When we, when we were running up, everybody like, oh my God, um, you know, we're at a previous all time high. The fact is that we have already been there. We've been higher. So the market is a little bit like, okay, show me something new. Show me something, you know, prettier. We're post having, come on, give me something already, right? Um, crypto investors that have been around the block, that have been since 2017 and we'll get to that in just a second know that patience is the most important virtue sometimes <laughs> in the crypto market right and especially post having we know that and i'll show you a graph in just a second that this happens sometimes right now um interestingly right uh we're seeing a situation where even you know crypto banter ron here says if we close above 65,000 this sunday we could see 84,000 in less than six weeks i mean this is a prediction that could highly happen um six weeks would bring us into the middle of july which we talked about that could be the the peak of the altcoin um flow right uh we showed a graph of rec capital which i don't have open now which showed you know the ups and downs of the altcoin market right and we're at the bottom of the that uh is this is a sinus uh, graph it's considered i think yeah. but it showed the a wave graph you could call it um and that would be the peak so to say in six weeks i mean that's kind of a, an easy prediction to make right it's not like a wow prediction oh my god how did you get to that prediction right um it could highly happen if we break through this uh this high uh, i still think that 100k is going to be when the the craziness happens when you know when uh regular joe schmoes and jane does <laughs> are going to be jumping into the crypto market because it's going to just be everywhere all the news the TikTok, and instagram and every it's going to just the content is going to be pumping out and and people won't be able to deny it that's when you're going to start seeing things start that's what i think once bitcoin hits a hundred thousand it's also like um you know wow one hundred thousand 
right? It's like psychologically, right? Uh, at first it was a thousand, then ten thousand, then fifty thousand, now hundred. Wow, right? Like, so I think that's going to be just like from a psychological level. And we have Rick that's telling us here that Bitcoin only needs to drop an additional one percent to perform the post bull flag breakout retest attempt. <laughs> that's also a tongue twister. Post bull flag breakout retest attempt in a effort to secure trend continuation to the upside right so testing of the the support and then jumping off of that so far we are at 67,000 um so it's holding so far 60 uh 66,000 and also uh what what Ron posted here 65,000 um i mean unless we have a big drop off of uh you know 4 or 5 percent uh, I don't, I don't see it closing under sixty-five thousand. Uh, what would we need to drop here to get to sixty-five thousand? It would need like a two, three percent uh, drop. Listen, this could, ha it could happen. Sunday is sometimes uh, tricky, and if we do look at the stochastic full, we're we're pulled up significantly, right? So, could a pullback happen? Yes, most def, right? Most definitely, it could happen. Uh, just you know, looking at the stochastic full. Um, we'll get to the 2017 in just a second. I want to talk a little bit about Shiba Inu. So Shiba Inu also has, you could call it stuck, you could call it right, um, you know, low momentum, low volume. So you can see ever since Shiba Inu, um, well, this whole zone here was very, very volatile, right? We were having big movements. But ever since this happened, right, uh, which was the Iran-Israel uh, situation, we've been stuck in this uh, zone, more or less, between 2000 and uh, 2800, right? This is the zone that we've been stuck in uh, for a while. And historically, when you have something like this, there's, in the end, there's a breakout. So there's either a breakout to the upside or to the downside. Currently, we have this trend that's been created, right? This trend line here. And some might say it's, you know, a, a massive bullish flag. I can see that as well. Um, and it will be interesting to see, right, in the next few days, um, what happens here. And will Shiba Inu break out of it or not? There is a big um, 106 trillion, you could call it barrier, you could call it, uh, you know, something that's denying Shiba Inu, right? Um, these are the people that would potentially jump into the money. So it represents the collective hope and determination of the Shiba Inu community to see their beloved token rise to new highs to achieve this break-even point. The staggering 106 trillion Shiba Inu tokens need to align with the price goal of 0 0.405. So that would bring us above the, I call it the winning zone, right? If we get to five. So we haven't seen five in this current uh, cycle, right? Five four zeros five was um something that we only saw back in 2021 we haven't seen it since then i believe that if we get over into this zone it will be coming on massive momentum we still have a buy or uh indication from trading view here um, and so it will be interesting to see in the next coming days with that quote unquote, you know resistance but it's not really resistance it's people that are still uh, out of the money, if you remember, I, I'm, we saw this very, very blatantly in the uh, statistics that when Shiba Inu started running, we saw a big shift from people with small amounts to medium sized amounts. That meant that people were growing their position. They were jumping into the money, right? So they had small uh, um, positions or they held positions. And even if they weren't going into the money, the fact was that Shiba Inu was going up they already had positions and they were growing their positions. And we saw a jump from, um, to call it uh, uh, tadpoles to fishes, right? <laughs> from, from zero to $100 invested in Shiba Inu to uh, one uh, 100 to 1,000 and 1,000 to 10,000. We saw a jump there. So it will be interesting to see if we do see a breakout here, um, how, how much of uh, an effect will that have with people growing their, their potential positions? Now, if we take a look at what Plan B said here, he says 2017 vibes, right? Um, if we take a look here, many people were, wow, 2020 was great. And it was, uh, you know, uh, so great because of um, the, the pandemic and the money that was pumped into the market. Well, actually, 2020 wasn't that great. If you take it 
to 2016 and, and of course 20, uh, 2017, sorry. Uh, because in 2017, I said this before, the high was 1,000 and it went all the way up to a high of 20,000. So the previous high was 1,000, it jumped 20x. In 2020, we only saw a jump from 20,000 to 60,000. So that was only a 3x, right? And people are hoping that this time around, we'll see something more uh, close to 2017 um, than 2020. And you can see right here, in 2017, we saw blue, right? And then lots of red, and then yellow, right? And then green. So it was the dip down. And then blue, and then red. But in 2020, the red was short-lived, and it turned into yellow again, which is distribution. And then we had a little bit Two, two dots of bull market and then uh, downwards. Now we've had this, now we have this uh, same kind of, right, in, in 2020, you can see it went up fast, but it was short-lived. The question here is, will we see more red dots and then a longer period of uptrend, similar more to 2017? Now, other people on the flip side might say, well, listen, in 2017, the market cap was a lot smaller uh, on the crypto market. Uh, the price of Bitcoin was a lot smaller, so it was a lot easier to uh, push up the price from 1,000 to 20,000, right? But we have to remember also that there wasn't the same interest and there wasn't the same amount of money in 2017. So it's like, you know, a pendulum. So you got more of this, but you got more of this. So what, what's, the, what's the secret sauce here? That's, that's the billion, trillion dollar question, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to know, is this 2017 or 2020, right? Um, and, and that's going to be interesting. And he also says here, you know, last chance to buy Bitcoin below 70,000. That's a question as well, right? Even if it breaks, let's say 70,000 here in the next few days, will this be the last chance, right? Will this be the last time that we see Bitcoin under 20, uh, 70,000? First, it needs to break, by the way. <laughs> but um, will it be the last time that we see it in this zone? Or will it, you know, break out from there and then go towards the 80,000, 75,000, 80,000? Or will we see this, you know, jumpity, jumpity, kangarooish market, uh, bunny rabbit market, whatever you want to call it, going into the summer, right? There's the saying, sell in May and go away. Do we see something like that? Um, it's going to be very interesting to see. Um, you know, uh, you could say, you know, is uh, predictions and graphs. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. This is, this is how it is, you know. Sometimes the market does what it wants to do. Sometimes it goes according to predictions and projections. Sometimes there's, you know, fake news. We're seeing something interesting here in the past there so where you have meme coins uh, that are jumping suddenly, like Bonk, and uh, uh, that jumped up uh, five, six uh, percent here. I think it was even more. If we, it's, it's behind my head. Can I do it like this? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's yeah here it goes it's coming <laughs> 13 percent. i don't know if you can see it yet no not yet but it's 13 percent. believe me i'm gonna i'm gonna beat it i'm gonna beat the game 13 <laughs> percent. and then you have a uh, pepe which has been a little bit more um um uh, you know jumpity in the last uh, it's been on a nice uptrend uh down seven percent and right in the corner I'll, I'll move my head this time so you can see uh with right dog with hat uh is uh down about 10 percent let me do this here we go i don't want to jump out of the screen here you can see down minus 9.2 percent so we have situations where uh meme coins some meme coins in the top uh you know 100 are up some are down um and shiba inu is kind of flat and and doge has also been flat so that's interesting right uh which which gives you a telltale that there's not a lot of liquidity in the market so it's very easy to uh push a meme coin up or down right maybe this week it flips right and we get a little bit more interesting situation again if bitcoin breaks against seventy thousand, that that could help um but for now these could call them boring times seem to be continuing but this is just part of it um I, 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 uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's boring, right? It's hard, especially for, you know, swing traders, because not a lot is happening. Um, day traders, there's always opportunities, you know, with day trading, if you're using leverage, 
If you're interested, our partner Marjex will give you that opportunity. No KYC. Uh, check it out. See if it's available in your country and if it's something that you're interested. You get $50 once you use my link and you'll get another $50 once you deposit $100. Uh, that goes to commissions and you get a 20% kicker if you use my link. So please trade responsibly. Please, please, please trade responsibly. You can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money using leverage. So for day traders, every day is a good day, right? It's depending on the leverage you use. <laughs> um but uh for swing traders these lack of movements it's kind of hard and long-term investors although it is infuriating that nothing's happening and you kind of lose you know faith um it's not really detrimental to you just moving sideways you know it's it's not really hurting your portfolio or, or benefiting your portfolio at all right so be interesting to see how these next few days play out um, and i will of course continue to give you updates if you keep coming back to see my beautiful face and you <laughs> and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel uh, do so now and ring the bell so you can be part of the the naughty gang if you're feeling naughty am i a little bit out of focus i don't know i i uh i disconnected the camera i think now um, a little bit out of focus a little bit maybe i need to put it back on automatic focus but then it was going crazy i don't know <laughs> This is uh, the behind the scenes of a uh, YouTuber, right? Uh, and um, it, it will be interesting to see uh, what ha I lost my <laughs> I lost my thought. Check out this video if you're interested in um, leverage trading. But again, like I said, please trade responsibly. Ah, the naughty gang, the naughty gang. <laughs> Join the naughty gang. <laughs> Check out the links in the description down below. Check out this uh, video right here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Of course, always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Not financial advice. Or, uh, video for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.